Hey, what up, guys? This is Jam Packed Gaming, and I got an Assassin's Creed Brotherhood gameplay for you. I'm trying to mix things up instead of, you know, just stick with, you know, Call of Duty, Black Ops, and, um, Minecraft. The more games out there, and I figured, hey, an Assassin's Creed Brotherhood would be something new and different. You don't really find that many Assassin's Creed Brotherhood commentaries out there. And, and so I figured I'll talk about the game a bit. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Online is pretty good. Right now I'm playing a game called Manhunt. And Manhunt is... Um, that's how it's described. But basically what you do is one team hides, one of the other team goes, finds, and assassinates. And you hide in crowds, park benches, um, bushes, hay bales, and stuff like that. And it's hard for the enemy to see you, see you, and you blend in crowds. And the enemy goes around and tries to find, okay, he's in this crowd someplace, but which guy is he? And you have uh, special abilities that allow you to morph the crowd, and um, yeah, you morph the crowd, and they have like count abilities, like someone can use Templar Vision, which picks out you from the crowd. There's guns, there's throwing knives. There's perks. Um, there's a bunch of things. And if, say, uh, an assassin is caught uh, getting ready to assassinate you, you can enter a chase scene. And chase scenes usually consist of you, like, you just run around until you escape your pursuer. And you can also stun your enemy when you're defending. But when you're attacking, you kill. When you're defending, you stun. But my cat loves to be petted. Alright, so, yeah, that, that's, I mean, Assassin's Creed is a really, really good game. I enjoy it a lot, but at the same time, it ha it's a lot like Call of Duty. It has, it sure, it has lots and lots of problems. Um, rank is a big issue in this game. If, a r difference between a 1 and a level 10 are uh, completely... Um, yeah, uh, level 1 is completely disadvantaged, level 10, unlike Call of Duty. Call of Duty, you may have some disadvantage, but you can still take on the number 110 pretty good if you have some skill. This game, it really relies less on skill than what perks you have. Um, you won't find many low-level players anymore. If you didn't play the game when it came out, uh, chances are you're not going to find any low, uh, low level players. Cause I played this game, started playing this game at the beginning of January, and most of my. I was. For a while I was facing, you know, people m my rank, but as time went on, um, I was facing people. Like, I'm a level 20, and I'm facing level 50s. And y I don't have. I haven't unlocked any perks yet. Perks allow you to climb walls faster faster, run faster, uh, push through a crowd faster. Um, those are the only perks I really know of. Um, like, uh, reverse uh, stuns and stuff like that. Combination um, perks give you a huge advantage, but in the first like 20 levels you unlock abilities, then the next uh, 20 you unlock perks and then you unlock the advanced abilities like gun you shoot faster disguise you stay in disguise mode fa uh, longer and it's the level has a big big uh, difference in this level you had a huge disadvantage if you're a low level and it keeps on getting worse as it goes along because less low levels are playing because it's hard to get in a room with uh, people your rank and so people, those people just get their ass kicked the whole entire time and they don't have any fun so they don't play it anymore. Um, now right now we are killing the enemy, we're going out to assassinate them. So hopefully yeah, I get to, get, get to show you some pretty good kills. But, alright. And I see I actually fell for that decoy. Like you can send a decoy, somebody fake to run out and you can chase them. There's a bunch of cool little abilities you can have, but as the same as Call of Duty, this game can be extremely cheap. Um, 
they made it to update to where the defending team can uh, stun easier. And the problem with that is when you can stun, easy, uh, stun people pretty easy is people now people don't hide in hide in uh, crowds anymore. All they do is run around stunning people, and it really takes the fun out of the game when the enemy team is running around stunning you when you're trying to assassinate them. And it seems to be easier to stun somebody than it is to assassinate them. Assassinate them, you have to um, you have to get pretty close. You have to get um, you have to get close to stun too. But it seems like, at least in my experience, that uh, it's easier to stun than kill. And there's there's like a bunch of gay um, uh, abilities and perks. Um, probably my the biggest ability that I have is the gun. Um, when you enter a trace sequence, people just have to shoot you. They don't have to trace you. And they don't get as many points for shooting you, but it's, it just takes the fun out of it. I mean, some of the trace sequences are actually really, really fun. The uh, They have throwing knives, and throwing knives slow you down, so it also ruins the trace sequence. There's a lot of there's a lot of problems that I guess I can't remember the people who make this game. So the, the people that made this game had I guess didn't come up with. They there's no really balance in the multiplayer. It's very can be very uneven at times. Um, yeah, it, it's just a game that need, really needs to be proved on. Like um, I flanked this person. My teammates started calling them out, and I was to run down those stairs and assassinate them. And she, that's a stun. You stunned him, and then I was able to get the revenge. And I was actually able to get more kills because she didn't see me coming. I wasn't, um, I wasn't being distractive. I was being silent and discreet. And if you not, if you're not really that silent, you know, if you run around and person can see you coming a mile away, and you kill him, you only get a hundred points. But if you can sneak up on him and kill them, you get 500, and if it's like a co-op, then it's 750. If it's from the top of a building, you get an extra, like, 1,000, and there's a lot of ways to get, um, you know, all these points to stack up. And, yep, and I was just stunned. But, all in all, when this game is played right, it can be very, very fun and very interesting. Um, yeah, it can be very fun and very interesting, and something you always look forward to playing again. But when it's not being played right, you, you're pissed off most of the time, and you get bored of it as well. But all right, guys. Now this game is coming to a close. And I wanted you guys to come out and check out my channel. I do Black Ops commentaries, Assassin's Creed commentaries, and I'm probably going to start doing Dead Space 2 commentaries um, when I can get that game. And I'm also going to start a new series called uh, Break Down the Maps. I'm going to go down to all the Call of Duty maps and break them down to uh, good spots and camping, not really camping spots, but good flanking spots, somewhat camping spots, and you know, stuff like that. So guys, check out my channel. I am Bloodseek, and I think I went 5 and 3 in this game. Now let's see if I actually took a look at the... at my kills. Did I? No, I did not. Alright guys, this is Bloodseek, and I am out.